and welcome to Mobile World Congress 2017. We're here with Alon Segal, he's the Chief Technology Officer for Telit. And Alon, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I wanted to talk to you about, uh, really, uh, maybe a couple of the demonstrations in your booth, but, so, but more so, uh, how edge computing can really support some IoT use cases out there. But first of all, can you tell us what edge computing is? So that's a, that's a great way to start this off. What is edge computing? When we talk about IoT, we're talking about uh, getting devices from, th uh, getting data from things and communicating it. Some of these things are really simple. So if I have a remote temperature sensor, the rest, we're not really doing computing, we're simply communicating back. But the more interesting applications are actually, uh, can involve a lot more complex cases. We also have a lot of legacy devices out there. We have a lot of dumb devices in manufacturing, things that have been around for a while. PLCs, uh, SCADA, wired connected devices that we actually want to bring that siloed data out. So when we put a piece of technology out there that can communicate from the physical world to the virtual world, it may need to know what it's talking to. It needs the ability to have some intelligence in it. Maybe we're talking about a machine controller that has no states. You know, it spits something out, it's an engine block but what you actually want to know is what it did in the past or what it's about to do and use that knowledge. Um, we may have you know, lots and lots of cameras out there that we can now deploy for safety, homeland security, or even industrial you know, processing. Well, if we're just going to stream all that video data out there, we've not really done anything intelligent. Maybe we need to do some processing at the edge, select the events do something with that event, and then send the alert back. All this comes under the domain of intelligent processing at the edge, at the edge of the network. If you can walk me through a real world use case where edge computing supports that. So, um, using some telling examples, we have done a lot of work in industrial automation. Uh, the intelligence is in talking to a lot of real world applications out there that may have no memory, they may be remotely uh, um, distributed so we have to wirelessly get the data back and we have to control that. We can't always depend on the latency in the communication. We, we want to provide intelligence in the, in the field and we need to be able to control the events. So we need to put uh, an agent, some piece of technology out there that can communicate over the network and make decisions based, whether it's condition-based monitoring, whether it's uh, um, notification or sensing of something out of the ordinary, anom anomaly detection to execute a change. And this is deployed in real world manufacturing. You know, some of our customers include Honda Manufacturing, uh, Johnson & Johnson, GlaxoSmithKline, and others that deploy these intelligent devices to control their environment. They're mission critical, you know, the manufacturing line may go down, and what they're really doing is controlling a variety of different sensors, actuators, machines, applying that intelligence very close to the point of contact, while in constant communication and the value streamlining the results or communicating with a central server. Now of course, edge computing sounds all positive, uh, supporting a lot of solutions and services, but certainly there's some challenges there. Uh, what would you say are the top uh, two or three challenges are? We don't really have standards in this industry. So, uh, uh, much like the entire IoT, it's not something that I can go order, you know, give me two pounds of red IoT. There's a lot of work to define uh, the business value. How do we leverage the, the pieces out there? How do we apply it uh, to a given case? And how do I, as a, as a business, monetize that or recognize the value? Luckily, we've been doing this now for quite some time, and we can share uh, real world experience, ROI cases, how this has been uh, used to sense anything from french fries to you know, putting together vehicles in an automotive plant, or remote sensing in, in the uh, you know, IoT world view of things, it all comes together. Of course, Telet has uh, been in the IoT space, in the IoT business for a number of years. Um, 
what was the uh, the initial driver for edge compute, um, and sort of where do you see the future of edge computing? Well, Telus has been involved in IoT before it was called IoT, and uh, we have an interesting mix of both software and hardware technology. So our view of this is really a, how it all comes together. And if you look around here at NWC, you also see a lot of interesting work in the, in the bifurcation now with narrow band and, uh, and other technologies that really talk about the ability to, to monitor mundane devices. So in that domain, maybe edge, edge computing is not really the critical factor because I have the ability to sense simple things like temperature, humidity, and report that back in. But on the other end is these high-end devices that, that actually have the compute power there enable us to offload the system, enable us to put intelligence on the device itself and do processing there. You know, we talk a lot about uh, uh, driverless cars today, AD ADAS, advanced you know, uh, driver assistance systems and beyond. Well, that's a lot of real-time processing that needs to be done at the car level. You need to know what's going around it. So again, we're pushing the intelligence to the edge of the system, to where the data is, and we're enriching that car, you know, with what's going around it, with the traffic patterns around it. These are day-to-day, real-life applications, which TELT is part of. Alain Segal with TELT, uh, thanks for your time. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, to our viewers, once again, you can get all of our content on TI, TI Now by logging on to tinow.org. So long. Thank <laughs> you.